hey guys welcome to the channel thank you so much for watching merry christmas and happy new year to you and your family no matter what the result is gonna be at the end remember i told you in my previous videos that chelsea owned us something they owned the fans who traveled on christmas eve to support them they owned us a win it was win or nothing and i also told you that we have to be proactive and not reactive remember Mauricio pochettino is always reactive we wait until when we concede a goal before making necessarily changes we create chances we don't take them and then when we concede head drop and then we collapse we can't put two passes together we panic all over the place and our plan is out of the window immediately and that is exactly what happened in the first half chelsea did the chelsea first of all semedo shouldn't even be on that pitch because that was a red card i don't care what anybody else is gonna say that foul on raheem sterling was a red card i don't know if the referee wanted to give a christmas gift to wolves but come on man if he was against another team it was going to be red card all day long I don't know if I have to explain myself what happened in the first half because I have the impression that I can put my videos like three years ago and it's gonna sound exactly the same. Just like a broken record. We create tons of chances, we don't score. And in that first half, we had a chance. Free kick from Sterling, skied it. One on one from Sterling, skied it. Very, very selfish. It was like a three against one and all he had to do is an easy pass and then an easy goal. What he did, he tried to, to, to score. Every time we find ourselves in the final third, zero IQ. We try to dribble one more time instead of like one time pass to put one player one on one with the goalkeeper. But even if we put a player one on one with the goalkeeper, nobody is there to finish. Nicholas Jackson, of course, he played out of position in the first half. But you are a football player. Well, regardless of the position you are, when you go to war, sometimes you have just to show some quality. We did the same old Chelsea Football Club. Let me give you some statistics. Chelsea created more chances i mean more clear chances than any european team in top divisions that means more than barcelona real madrid psg bayern munich all of them we created more clear chances and when i'm talking about clear chances it's not like the 50 50 it's just like high xg right and we miss all of them so in that sense i can understand why pochettino continue to believe on what he's doing because regardless of the people playing out of positions we still create tons of chances you don't need to be a rocket scientist to understand that you need to score goals in order to win games if you don't score you don't win the quality is lacking in the final third and Nicholas Jackson did the Nicholas Jackson Sterling did the Sterling even Cole Palmer that we we praise because he plays very good and he scores penalties but when it comes to shooting accurately and scoring goals bailing us out of uh, out of jail he still struggle because even him is skying pretty much every shot you know, his cause penalty is good. He dribble past people is good. He can create chances is good. But when it comes to finishing, we are toothless. Nicholas Jackson got more yellow cards than any player in the Premier League. Eight in total. And guess what? All of them decent. 
not like he put a, a bad tackle or tried to save the team or took one for the team. No, decent. Lack of discipline. No matter how Pochettino is telling him because one of the press conferences, he said that he was uh, talking to Nicholas Jackson one-on-one -on -one and, and, and telling him to, to stop uh, getting stupid yellow cards. But he just doesn't uh, doesn't listen to anything that the manager or common sense is telling him to do. The second half, what can I say? Same old, same old Chelsea Football Club. We made so many changes that I'm not going to get the de details here. I don't want to take all your time again. But we panicked. Instead of being proactive and start with the right lineup, we always make stupid changes and we are all over the place and the opposition is going to be just well organized and try to see the game out they try to kill time they try to do everything in the book to get three points and that's what uh, wolves were doing so you can't really blame wolves for wasting time because they had a result to protect and 90 minutes plus three wolves killed chelsea completely another mistake from the defense but yashile but also the entire defense 2-0 2-0 to wolves and chelsea are in the mud you create chances you have possession you don't score goals and you concede stupid goals you lose three point sounds familiar yes that is a new chelsea thing now i'm not gonna blame anybody that will say pochettino out such and such out blame whoever you want because i can't control your feelings we are in the mud we are shambolic no matter what the manager is gonna be if we don't have quality in front to finish our chances it's gonna be the same immaturity in this team is beyond me it's good to spend money on a bunch of kids from brazil from all over the world and people celebrated how good we're gonna be when Manson mount is gone christian pulisic kalium hastonadoy tammy abraham we have a perfect players but here the result one billion spent on a bunch of crap you know what i mean that's why i always tell you money is not necessarily quality wolves the entire team cost them probably 100 million chelsea cost 1 billion but nowhere to be seen possession in football means nothing you have to score goals long way to go and a lot of consequences need to happen very soon and this is how you pay us back on christmas eve we spend our money we travel we sacrifice our families lives and everything and then all of a sudden you just do this to us christopher Nkunku, 95 95 minutes he scored a wonderful header you know and if Nkunku was there from the beginning of the season, I think we were going to be different. You can see the quality. Nicholas Jackson can't even touch the ball with his head. That's how bad that brother been. But look at Christopher Nkunku. He's shorter than, uh, than Bloody Jackson, but can score headers. 2-1 at the end, but it was too late, too late to save Chelsea Football Club. Listen, people, Merry Christmas to you. Don't let Chelsea ruin your Christmas Eve. Enjoy with your family. Tomorrow is another day. Somebody is going to get sucked very soon. And I said I am not Pochettino out, but this is result-based business. And whatever what the owners are going to decide, my friend, is not my problem. But I think the problem is deeper than only manager 